Have you ever heard of a record called The Pharaohs? Came out in 1971. Hi, this is Rosie from Baby Boomer Collectibles Hall, and I just purchased this, and it's called The Awakening. Never heard of it. A couple of things with records. You always want to look at the label. What was the original label? And in this case, the label, because there are several issues of this, but the label is called the Scarab, but it's also called the uh, Great House Production, and it was recorded at RCA Studios in Wacker, Chicago. I also look at the recording engineer. There's some people who are audiophiles, they look at who was the engineer. In this case, it was Brian Christian. The remix engineer was Roger. A. T. Atkinson, and this is a picture of the group. Now, the cool thing about it is, this particular album also came with inside a history of the Pharaohs, a historical overview. And one of the things it points out is that this particular group also wrote music and they performed. Now they wrote music for and performed with such artists as Donnie Hathaway, Ben Branch, The Dells, and countless others. Collectively they've written and performed not only much of the material used in their appearances but the music for several popular commercials. I would love to get hold of those commercials. I also have a picture that was included in the album. Look at that. It's an actual picture of them. I don't know if you can see clearly, but 1971, black and white. And right here it says the Pharaohs. This is a, their promotional picture, and that is the Scarab Records, it's called. S-C-A-R-A-B. And then it tells you who the management, the Great House Productions, and there's a phone number. Now, I haven't tried calling the phone number to see if this is still viable for them as a group. But I want to point out, I am going to put this up on in my eBay store, Baby Boomer Collectibles. Here's the original label. Now, something you should know about labels. If you see the same production, same record, on a later label with a barcode on the cover you know that is totally remastered but there's a way of researching and one of the places that I love going to is Discogs it's Discogs.com and Discogs will show you all the versions and show you what the marketplace has been doing for that record so this is the label now I'm going to put it up and one of the things I have to do is to do what they call play graded carefully. I will do a visual inspection to see if in fact there are any any scuffs, anything that I can't get out in a, a basic cleaning, any any scratches. But that's a visual grade and if I do a visual grade I let people know I'm doing a visual grade. Most of the grading systems are some form of something called the gold mine grading system and mine is based on that too with some slight changes I also will do a play grade and that's to actually play it to see how it sounds is there surface noise or do I hear any uh, crackling what kinds of things do I hear and make sure that I don't hear a scratch and right here I notice that there's a little bit of a mark here here and so that has to be checked out so I'm going to put this up I'm going to do a little bit more research perhaps uh, I've done a lot already I'm going to put it up but this was a great find I picked this up with several other records I brought about $25 worth and 
uh, for that toy, I actually paid two dollars for each record. How did it become twenty-five dollars? I think I just threw an extra dollar. So that's what I'm going to do, and I may come back and share with you other records that I'm looking at. But again, thank you for hanging out with me.